Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This is Artifacts of Mars, and thank you for watching Tyranny Watch News. This is July 15th, 2014, Anno Domini. In Texas, there's a uh, book that was found and prayer rugs. The book is an Urdu to English dictionary. I'm going to bring that graphic back up. The book, Urdu to English dictionary, was not something like Mike Vickers expected to find on rocky earth underneath cattle fencing around his 1,000 acre Texas ranch. Yeah, there it was, dropped. Vicker guesses when I, its carrier got zapped by his fence's electricity and add yet another dimension to the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border where tens of thousands of people went flying into the United States. And it goes on to say that uh, these people are coming from all over the world, not just from Central America. The uh, Urdu is spoken in India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. So in other words, these could be Taliban coming in, they could be ISIS. They found prayer rugs, they found other such things. Not good whatsoever. And yet we're told these are all innocent refugees that haven't done anything wrong. Why, these poor children are just seeking asylum. Yeah, right. Alright, next invasion story. From Fox News. Fox News reports that there's an endless wave of immigrants coming into the Rio Grande Valley. I'm not that kind. They call them invaders. They show pictures. Um, this really isn't news. We already knew that we we're being invaded. And it's just tens of thousands streaming across the border. And I'm going to tell you again, we're in a lot of trouble. And people got to wake up. Alright, next. In Iowa, the governor, Brandstad, has said that he does not want immigrant children in his state. They're invaders, governor. Um, he's telling the governor... The federal government, I don't want them here. You need to secure the border before you do anything else. Usual rhetoric. Uh, excuse me, Governor. Are you asleep? There's probably already quite a few of them in your uh, major cities in Iowa. The ones that you haven't been told about. And the 300,000 that flooded in and they said they've been resettling them. The so-called relatives. That story is so lame that it doesn't even rank refutation hardly. Monday on Fox News Channel, America's Newsroom, the Vice President of the Border Patrol Union, Chris Cabria, told host Martha McCallum a lot of our guys are coming down with diseases. Coming off a long journey, they've been subjected 
two and then diseases some agents are contracting. We have one get bacterial pneumonia. A lot of guys are coming down with scabies or lice. Now, lice aren't, isn't a disease, it's just an insect, but you get the point. Coming down with parasites, or coming down with diseases that are being brought in by the illegal invaders. All these different countries do indeed pose a health virus to United States citizens. It says it's like a big pressure cooker, and what is happening is a lot of these people are dehydrated and malnourished, and it's a perfect breeding ground for different diseases. A lot of these diseases cannot even be immunized against yet. Some of them will never be immunized against, like scabies, for instance, which is a parasite. So, there you have it, medical doctors saying, yes, there is a disease threat. I've read, had people say that there is no disease threat. I had one person go as far as to say that it is people who are not having the kids vaccinated that are the problem, not the illegals. How you blame people not getting vaccinated for what's happening on the border is beyond me, but I've had that happen. In other news, a recent study found that people are the most vocal about uh, global warming, climate change, are the people who use the most electricity. The uh, person who is going over the study claims that part of the problem is a study was looking at pensioners, 65 years and older, who are very frugal with electricity, but care about the future, and don't care about the future. Well, I got news for you. I got another word for this whole thing. Uh, if you look at Al Gore, you have a classic example. Al Gore uses unbelievable amounts of electricity in his homes and then tells you and I, you, we have to do without. It's classic elitist liberalism. It's got nothing to do with pensioners or anything like that. Next story, please. In Obama news, Fred Thompson, who used to substitute for Paul Harvey, is a former actor. Uh, we're going to bring up the graphic. He's a uh, former Tennessee Senator Fred Thompson. That's his claim to fame. At any rate, what he is saying is that Obama doesn't understand the founding principles of this country. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, actor Fred. Um, he, he's the first president that he's ever seen who goes around the Congress and acts like it's perfectly all right. Yeah, he uh, has no respect for the Constitution actor Fred. And he goes on to say he doesn't understand the founding principles of America and all that. Which is all quite true. I'm glad to hear uh, Fred Thompson speaking out on this subject. That's one more good guy adding his voice. Not that it does us any good, but that's the way it is. Otherwise, how are things? Well, in Chicago, black residents of Chicago were slamming Obama. We're talking the south side of Chicago, which is in the bad part of town. The worst part of town, according to Jim Croce, the baddest part of town. At any rate, uh, 
They're saying you're spending all these money, all this money, helping in the illegal aliens, and then you're not paying any attention to us. There's shootings everywhere, crime is rampant. You're not doing anything to help. And they're right. They're absolutely right. I wish I could march with them. Unbelievable. And what they're saying is some of the black folks are starting to wake up and realize that Obama's the worst president ever. At least that's what they're starting to think. I tend to agree. Probably is the worst president ever. Media mogul Rupert Murdoch is lamenting windmills and all that rubbish. He says Australia is a low-cost place and we really don't need these windmills and solar panels and things of that nature. And well, Mr. Murdoch, these things are useful for some things. I don't think windmills are ever going to do that much. The wind's not terribly reliable, for one thing. Interesting, this guy's a liberal, so... Here you have a liberal jumping off the uh, wagon, so to speak. In Germany, protesters protesting... Israel's attack on Palestinian uh, positions in the Gaza Strip. They're calling Jews beasts. They're throwing rocks at the uh, police. You bring that graphic up. And it's like, hang on one sec. Here we go. Neo Nazis. Islamists declare you Jews are beasts during Israeli occupation. Well, there you got, there you go, you have uh, neo-Nazis and radical Islamics getting together. Demonstration in Frankfurt against Operation Protect the Veg erupted into violence of protesters throwing stones at the police. About 2,500 protesters appeared in downtown Frankfurt Screaming God is great and slogans such as freedom for Palestine and sh children murder Israel. Eight police officers were injured. One sign at the rally was titled, You Jews are Beasts. Well, I gotta feel sorry for uh, the Israelis because they're in a no win position. The, uh, Hamas terrorists throw rockets at them. They're not throwing rocks. They're throwing rockets. Well, they throw rocks too, but nowadays they're throwing rockets at Israel, and Israel's not supposed to respond. Israel's supposed to take it, which they're not doing. In the meantime, Hamas is not taking Egypt up on the truce idea. They said they're going to continue to pound Israel, and Israel is going to continue to pound them. So it looks like that's going to continue to escalate until... Well, they'll probably fight it out for a while and then get tired of fighting and go back about who knows. I don't think it's going to go nuclear or anything, so... We should be okay on that. But it's never a good situation. Well, what the Pal Palestinians of Hamas do is they uh, take civilians and they put their missile batteries right where the civilians are so the civilians get killed when Israel fires back. Total disrespect for life. That'll do it for Tyranny Watch News for today. Thank you for watching. And remember, living in a soft tyranny, let's not let it become a hard tyranny.
I'm on the Phantom Mars.